Today, I'm going to teach you how to go wrapping. We're going to forage, prep, cook, and eat these strange things called ramps. What are these anyway? Take a walk with me into the woods and I'll tell you. Ramps are in the same family as the onion, leek, and garlic. The entire plant is edible. Ramp season is the shortest season. You'll only find them between mid-April and mid-May at the right latitudes. Vendors at farmers markets will have them, but these plants are only foraged. They are not cultivated for mass sale, and they are expensive. The best way to get them is to go out and conduct your own search. Ah, here we are. Bingo. Here's a nice batch right here, pretty much in the sunlight. Looks like the white variety mixed in with some reds. What you don't want to do is take them all because you want them to come back next year. So I like to pick a patch and take maybe three, four, maybe five. Some people say take one out of every three and leave the rest behind. That's a good rule of thumb. You'll find that ramps live in soil that is typically damp, loose, and loamy. Be careful taking them out because they're fragile. Here's a nice pair of beautiful white ones. To find them, simply take a walk through the woods in the spring months. Scan the ground. They tend to poke through leafy cover. You'll find them on hills, around rock outcroppings, near brooks, and just about anywhere else. Okay, got enough. Let's get back to the kitchen. Can't buy these in Target. They have an outer gelatinous layer of skin that you just peel right down. Reveal the very clean bulb. Very satisfying. Look, twins. You can do a lot of things with this delicacy. For example, ramps on pasta, ramps in the slow cooker, ramp omelet, sautéed ramps, ramp pizza, ramps and chicken cutlets. It's alive! Here's a wonderful ramp sausage bread in the making. Ramps sunny side up, ramp carbonara, ramps on a bird, ramps on breakfast cereal, Ew. ramps on a cracker, ramps for delivery. Finally, when the season is over, pickled ramps. <laughs>